In this video, I am going to explain about the Cisco DNA Center hardware and scale. Cisco DNA Center offers flexible deployment options. It can be deployed on a hardware appliance, means you buy the appliance from Cisco.com, okay, or from Cisco, and this appliance include a hardware, a UCS, and on this hardware, okay, we have the Cisco DNA Center application or maybe you buy only and you have only the virtual appliance, means the software version. Actually, you have the Cisco DNA Center application and you can run it on a virtual machine on, for example, a cloud like AWS. Actually, Cisco DNA Center offers flexible deployment options. It can be deployed on a hardware appliance or as a virtual appliance on a cloud like AWS. Also, let me to inform you that the second generation means generation two of the Cisco DNA Center appliance is available in three form factors and comes with the Cisco DNA Center image preloaded on it and ready for installation. As you can see here, we, uh, we have these four types of uh, Cisco DNA Center. The first is software. This is the virtual appliance DNSW means DN means uh, the actually DNA center generation one, and then the SW means software version app and here uh, appliance. And as you can see, Cisco DNA center virtual appliance. But as you can see here, we have three the generation two of the DNA center. All of them are hardware based. And as you can see, DN2 hardware appliance, and this is for the, I will, I will inform you with more detail, but for now, let me to say this is for entry level or entry size. And DN2 hardware appliance large, this is for mid size, and DN2 hardware appliance X large, this is for the lar uh, actually large side. The entry level, mid size level, and large. And as you can see, both the, entry level and large level implemented on the Cisco UCSC 220M5, but with different number of cores, 44 core, uh, cores for uh, the actually entry size, 56 cores for the uh, mid size, and uh, about the large version uh, means the Cisco that we implemented it on Cisco UCSC 480, it has 112 uh, actually cores. I will explain about these three means the uh, hardware based Cisco DNA center. They are appliance. B about the size of uh, different features they are supported, I will explain with more detail now. But let me to inform you after learning about the hardware versions, if you want to compare the software version with them, you can assume that the capacity of software version is exactly same as the capacity of hardware version in the actually entry size. Let me write here. I will explain it with more detail. Don't worry. This is entry. This is mid size. Okay. And this is the large. About the capacity, for example, number of devices supported and means switch, router, wireless controller and wireless access points, wireless sensors, everything. Okay, everything uh, is so similar uh, between the software version and entry. It means that if you want to know about the capacity of software version, you can assume that the capacity is similar with the entry level. All right, now let me to explain about the hardware appliances in three uh, different versions. The version of entry level or and mid-size level and also large le level. It can give you a good view about the products and when you want to order, when you want to think about your Cisco DNA center, now you can choose better because you know that which versions and which scales are available in the market and each of them can provide us which number of capacity about different features. Okay, for example, about the number of switch, router, wireless controller supported, number of wireless access points supported, number of wireless sensors supported, number of concurrent endpoints supported, or maybe the site elements, okay, maybe the ports, maybe the API 
rate limit or net flu supported concurrent software image update supported all right let me to explain about the detail of hardware level level of the cisco dna center appliance as you know cisco dna center is the controller that we used it and we will use it when we want to implement the cisco st access actually the cisco dna center is the place that we can provision we can automate we can configure and we can troubleshoot and monitor the sda fabric but what is the cisco dna center itself about the hardware and about the scale of it let me to explain and give you a little more information you know that cisco dna center is an appliance based solution what does it mean it means that when you want to have a cisco dna center actually in physical form you have one for example ucs or cisco unified communicating system and on this ucs we have an application and the all of these two components means means the hardware and this application will be our cisco dna center hardware or appliance okay actually cisco dna center is an appliance based solution running on the cisco unified computing system or uc okay, or ucs platform you know that this is a, a actually a server uh, created by cisco and you know that the exact cisco ucs model it depends on the appliance size we have three sizes entry level or entry size mid size and large it depends uh, to the time that which type of device which type of ucs cisco provide for its cisco dna center but for now let me to give you some information they are not knowledge they are only information for example now cisco provide the entry level and also the mid-size model on the cisco ucs c220 m5 this is a rack server and you can buy it in two version in entry size 44 it has 44 cores and in mid-size it has the 56 cores and because of that you will hear these two name when you want to order to cisco dn2 means dna center generation 2 hardware appliance this is with 44 core and then dn2 means again dna generation 2 hardware appliance large and also it provides the large we can say cisco dna center size in the cisco ucs c480 m5 rack server it has 112 cores and the name that you see when you buy this product is dn2 hardware xl or x large okay actually the size of the cisco dna center appliance should be selected based on current and anticipated scale of the network including the number of physical network device and endpoints and cisco sd access fabric in this table as you can see we have good information about the entry level mid-size and large dna center look at here about the entry actually level or entry size maybe you hear we we it supports the thousand network devices 4000 wireless access points 25000 concurrent endpoints and 500 fabric sites in mid size we have actually 2000 network devices 6000 wireless access points and 40000 concurrent endpoints and finally thousand fabric sites as you can see the both of these two entry size and mid size can implement it in the cisco ucs c220 m5 be in two version 44 core for entry 56 cores for mid size 
and about the large size 5000 number of network devices 13000 wireless access points 100000 concurrent endpoints and 2000 fabric site that you can implement it in a Cisco UCSC 480M5 with 112 cores but don't forget current and more detailed scale support can be found on the Cisco website Cisco Com. Let me to show you one interesting table about these three entry, mid-size and large scale because I want to show you some useful information, give you some useful information. You know that when you want to learn about a product, about a market product, you know, you need to know about the knowledge and also about some information, not all of detail of market information. But you should know as a Cisco SDA access that when I want to actually buy, when I want to order the Cisco DNA Center, what are the, uh, the products that are available in the market? Yes, not exact products, because for exact product, you, you need to see the Cisco website. But having a good uh, high, high overview high actually uh, information can help you to choose the current model in this table as you can see again we have a comparison about the entry and mid-size and large dna center for example here you can see 44 and 56 means the cisco ucs C220 M5 with 44 core and 56 cores and here you can see 112 core server Cisco UCSC 480 M5 about the number of devices means switch router wireless controllers as you can see we have 1000 2000 and 5000 and about the number of wireless access points 4000 6000 13000 Number of concurrent endpoints 25,000, 40,000, and 100,000. Number of transient endpoint 55,000, 120,000, and 250,000. And about the number of ports 48,000 ports supported 192,000 and 480,000 actually supported in the other scales. About the number of site elements, 500 in entry level, 1,000 in the actually mid-size and 2,000 in the large. And about the number of wireless controllers, 500, 1,000, 2,000. About the API rate limit, 50 APIs per minute. Uh, in actually all of them are supported this table can be useful for you in future when you want to order one of these scales also this table has other elements about the number of fabric sites as you can see we have 500 thousand and two thousand about the number of fabric domain 10 20 20 about the number of access points 4000 6000 12000 and here you can see about the number of virtual networks 64 per site in both entry and also mid size and 256 uh, in the large scale and finally about the fabric devices per fabric site 500 in actually entry size 600 in mid size and 1200 actually fabric device in large size supported.